When Paranormal Activity came out, like, back in 2010, what was your guys' opinion of it? Paranormal Activity scared the fucking shit out of me in 2010. Trash movie? Oh, man. Your mom saw Paranormal Activity and thought it was a documentary. Who in chat believes in ghosts? No judgment. I don't give a shit. Nope. Nope. Yeah, nah. Nope. I don't say I believe in them. I'm not gonna say it's impossible though. A million shitty low res photos. I mean, you could say the same shit about aliens. Oh, so what you're saying is you just believe li uh, life on another planet. Not necessarily that any of that life has ev ever been able to have like intergalactic travel or anything. What about alien ghosts? Well, once you start getting into alien ghosts, then you're talking about Scientology. I think it's ridiculous to believe something with absolutely no evidence to support Mika's it. Mika's like, I don't believe anything that I cannot prove without evidence. Meanwhile, when I grew up, I had a magic carpet that magically absorbed all the cum and made it disappear. No, my mother didn't clean it up. It was a magic carpet. You witnessed it with your own eyes. Mm-hmm. Find me an alien that can make my cum disappear, then we'll talk. First try Pooty. This is the most smooth brain conversation you've ever had the misfortune of listening to. Welcome to my stream on Sunday. That's bald man. Why do you think people are so obsessed with bald? That's a great question. I have no idea, man. I feel like the interest in bald heads has only gotten up in the world. You know, Orator, it, it, it is most appropriate you come at this juncture, because I have a question for you. As a bald person, what do you believe people's obsession with bald is? Jealousy of aerodynamics? I was thinking, like, potential relatability. You know, maybe maybe there's people who are bald, so they, they relate very well. People are afraid of the unknown. That could be it. Oh my god, he actually gave an answer. I think there's a sensitivity around baldness, both from some guys who lose their hair and people around them who don't know how to address it. But on the internet, people don't give a fuck and the world will say whatever, whatever, without worrying about being rude. So when the streamer also doesn't give a fuck, it kind of spirals out from there. You're probably right. I didn't turn off Tangia! <sighs> Close one. I love how that reminded me. Fluttering my lips reminded me that I forgot to fucking turn it off. And they're like, oh, yeah, Tangi, I never turned it off. Did your hair itch a lot losing it? Because my hairline is receding and I'm worried it's going to get even worse. I'm bald by choice. So no, my scalp has never been itchy. Tolan Valor. Dude, I am so tempted to just grow my hair out just to prove a point. It, dude, I mean, it's been a couple of years since I've grown my hair out. So it'd be really funny if I tried and it didn't actually grow back. Grow a rat tail. I think I would rather not. I'm gonna grow hair just on the sides. I'm gonna grow that little front patch right here and then like have the giant horseshoe of no hair. Yeah, I'm gonna look like the monk cleric. <laughs> the toilet seat? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> uh, can someone use Tangia and give me the men in black um, flashy thing? Thank you, AJK. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here. Thank you. We have a ban request coming in from Incredible Demon that says, I would like to know what the reason for the ban was. I read the title and mentioned it. Welcome back. Uh, the ban was for the tier two sub. If you want to ban someone in my channel, you give them a tier two and um, you're good to go. Oh, he was banned from you. Oh, that's right. I did say that yesterday. I can watch any Kaizo. Who asked? You know, x -Swiss, I will have an unspoken rule that anyone you gifted tier two sub to stays banned for the rest of the stream. Starting now. Sorry, Florida. Uh, incredible Lemon, you're, I realize you're new here. Okay, but I'm sorry you're banned. Dude, there's, I'm making too many rules. I'm, I'm having a hard time keeping track of all of them. You know, x -Swiss is very fair. He doesn't just tier two people for any reason. He'll only tier two people who annoy him. I always find it funny when people get upset over meme bans. I was in Barb's chat yesterday and everyone was talking about like channel gimmicks and stuff. Barb mentioned, he's like, I couldn't imagine doing meme bans. And then someone in his chat was like, I've unfollowed people for getting meme bans before. Oh yeah, pull my unban request up on chat and get humiliated. Mm, sounds like a great viewing experience. And I saw who it was and I checked. And last year, this person got a tier two sub and never came back. <laughs> it was a it was a 20 month sub and uh, they had 999 plus chat messages. It's funny to me, dude. 13 wonder of the world should be Johnny's burger. Canadian politics as a whole have gotten insane now. You're skinny as fuck from cigarettes alone. Huh? I don't smoke. I think smoking is fucking vile and I actually look less of you as a human. Why do you judge tofu? It doesn't even really affect you. It's not quirky. You're just gonna get popcorn lung by the age of 40. But my minty hit. Drugs are bad, except I mean, dude, caffeine is absolutely a fucking drug. Coffee's good for you. 
inhaling substances that do absolutely nothing except give you mouth pleasure are bad for you. Cope and seethe, get pissed off. I think less of you as a human. Yes, main freak, this is a personal attack on you specifically. Wow, that must be a really con Wow, I have lost three follows in the past five minutes. I keep my follower count exclusively open because I'm always curious of whenever I say something, I want to see that number drop. Some people got really offended. Okay, make it four. <laughs> I actually don't think less of anybody. I actually just really don't give a shit what you do with your life. What does bother me is when people smoke or they vape in line at a grocery store. Dude, there's people, there's people, I swear to God, that they're at the grocery store, they're in line, and they're like, hmm? Hmm? That pisses me the fuck off. Yeah, inside a fucking Target. Austin city limits. Well, I would never want to live in a big city anyway. I think you're deranged to want to live in a city. I mean that completely offensively to anyone in chat who wants to live in a city. Work forces you to move. That's why I said, if you want to. I didn't say, oh, if your work forces you to move, that you're deranged. I said, if your work, uh, you're, you know what? You're just making me fucking say things over and over and trying to give me a fuck. Oh my God, my wife brought me coffee. Thank you. Your son is being Sonic for Halloween. Aw, poor little kid would be picked on. You know, I remember growing up, I got bullied as a kid because I dressed up as Charmander, fifth grade. Because I was 17. Yeah, I was 17 in fifth grade. You fucking caught me. You got bullied out of your true calling as a furry. I mean, according to Twitch chat, if I think Lola Bunny is hot, that instantly is qualification to be a furry. And if that's the case, then I guess I've been a furry my whole life because I've always thought that fucking Lola Bunny from the first Space Jam was hot as fuck. Officially furry certified, I guess. You know, Lola Bunny had personality. You're like, dang, she would be cool to hang out with. Jessica Rabbit's like, yeah, I definitely want to lay my cartoon dick between her fat tits. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. I don't need to sit here and spell it out to you. You fucking know. Okay, so what's the story in Halo Reach then? Wait, wait, wait. Reach is a prequel? So after Halo 3 then, we get Reach, which is a prequel, but then we get 4, which is a continuation of 3. So I'm never gonna play Halo 4, 5, and Infinite. You guys want to explain to me the cliff notes. Turns out Chief and Cortana have been selectively bred to be the best of humanity by the Forerunners in order to take charge of the universe and take care and defend for it. How fucking boring. Cortana goes rampant, tries to kill everyone, ends up getting whacked in Halo 5. In between Infinite, Brute Lead Covenant, come back, bitch slap the main ship from Halo 4 or 5. Chief goes to search on to the new Halo that Cortana activated for new meta Cortana created by H Halsey. Evil Cortana is old Piccolo. New, new Cortana is old Kame. Jesus. I didn't realize I was playing fucking Kingdom Hearts lore. You need the nobodies and the heartless. And together, when they fuse together, they make a one body. Now in Mario terms, please. I thought of a super fucking cursed idea. Okay, so I told Chad GPT, in 150 words, can you give Cliff Notes breakdown of the story of Halo? I was like, okay, I don't understand any of this. Can you use Super Mario as analogies to explain the story? Think of Master Chief as Mario, the main hero. He's super soldier-like. Mario is a heroic player. Cortana is Mario's trusty companion, like Luigi, <laughs> helping him on his quest. The Covenant represents the enemy. Like Bowser and his minions, they want to eliminate humanity, similar to Bowser trying to capture Peach. Picture the Halo rings as powerful artifacts, similar to power stars. The Flood Beacon could be compared to the Goombas that multiply. The Arbiter, as a former Covenant leader turned ally, is like the Koopa Troopa who decides to help Mario instead of Bowser. In essence, Halo is a more complex intergalactic version of a classic video game story. All right, so Luigi is Cortana. Got it. Why are people obsessed with bald? I don't know, it's weird to people that you don't have hair.